Here we have the Clawman inline chlorinator. It's a very nice unit, especially if you need to feed into a tank and um, dose a large amount of chlorine. Um, this is particularly handy if you've got big bacteria or iron problems. What we'd recommend is with a valve set up like this, as it gives you a lot more control than just the unit itself um, uh, throttling here. The unit itself, you can control how far you push the chlorine cartridge into the water, but it's a tricky thing to get the flow through the unit right. And as these units can dose up to 100 ppm of chlorine, you normally don't want to dose the maximum amount. You normally want to dose a little bit of chlorine into the water and then bypass a, a substantial amount of water around the unit. So in this case, we'll demo it in a sec. We've got a valve to throttle the output of the chlorine and that allows us to control how much water goes, um, actually gets in contact with um, the chlorine tablets. And then we've got a valve on the feed of the chlorinator and a valve on the bypass with two flow meters, which allows us to judge exactly where they're going and two non-return valves to prevent um, the chlorine water flowing back into the borehole or back, back to your source of water. Then the next step with, with chlorine is you always really want to measure what you're actually getting. So a good practice would be to measure after the tank at a point where it's already had time to react with anything that it wants to react or where it um, uh, has time just to mix in so you get a good idea of what it actually is. So typically if you change the setting, you want to run it for a little while to get to a balanced point so you can see what the actual result was. There's a few different ways of measuring chlorine. One is with a digital uh, meter, which is a very accurate way of, of measuring. Another one is with these uh, test strip kits, which has some degree of accuracy, but in terms of chlorine, they're normally more designed for swimming pool applications. So you get a, more of an idea of, yes, you've got chlorine or no, you haven't. And then you get tablet-based ones um, with a finer scale that can give you a good idea at a lower cost than going for a, a digital meter. Okay, so here we've got the, the Clawman running in a typical setup. We've got quite a lot of water bypassing and we've got um, the water controlled here. You can change the level there. We're only exposed to one cartridge. If we throttle this, there we're at two, there we're at three, there we're at four cart um, tablets that we're actually dissolving. So typically you would only want to dissolve a little bit. So we've got it set to dissolve at one tablet. If we then find that our chlorine level is too high, we would need to increase the amount of water we run through the bypass. So we're dissolving less chlorine and mixing less chlorine in. Or if we find that we're um, not getting enough chlorine, we would do the opposite. We would um, increase the amount of water going through the chlorinator, thus giving us a higher chlorine level in the tank. It's very important to make sure you get this set up right, as you can very easily dramatically overdose or underdose um, uh, the chlorine. Very important is as well to make sure you're getting some flow through here as if you completely shut one of these valves, you won't get any chlorine in the tank.